I'm going to begin, and it was just asking, I mean, you knew uh, Kate personally, and I was just wondering how this came to, to fruition. Was it quite a, a difficult one to kind of begin? It, it was quite a difficult one to begin because I knew, I knew them. My, my boys, Tom and Joe, go to the same school at the time that both Reef and Finn went to. So I knew Kate in the last year of her life. I witnessed the list become this phenomenon in the press at first, then the book and the interest from Penguin Books. And with that became interest from film producers. <clears throat> Singe actually came up to me one day on the playground and said, uh, well, you do films, you should do the movie. And I went, you know what, I, I, I can see why people are interested, but I'm too close. And the movies will really mess this up. They could really mess it up. There are so many avenues you could choose to go down with that story where the reef's own experience with cancer. And I thought, what I will do is I'll stand by you and I'll give you a set of rules and conditions and lines in the sand, and I'll help you kind of stop them messing it up. So in the year or so he was writing the book with Rachel Murphy, I was kind of working on these lines in the sand and realising actually they were helping me figure out how I could feel comfortable telling that story and what mattered to me. Um, so yeah, it was, it was personal from the get-go, it really was, and it was personal to tell Kate's story because she wasn't there to tell it herself. And the book, rightly so, is very much Singer's perspective. The film has to follow Kate home. We have to see Kate and tell her story. So I felt a personal responsibility to do the right thing by the boy's mum, yeah. And what was it like having Singe around? Because I mean, obviously in some ways it's really helpful because you've got that kind of first-hand experience, but it must have added a real added element of pressure to, to both of you knowing that not only is he here kind of, is he a part of this project, but he's gonna be watching the kind of finished product as yeah. well. I found it quite reassuring because if he hadn't been there, then um, I, don't, I think him being there almost felt like a sort of blessing that he yeah. was saying it's yeah. okay <clears throat> to do it mm -hmm. and to explore our lives yeah. um, in detail. And also I think it was really helpful for Rafe because he was able to see Singe at the breakfast table and pick up sort of characteristics of Singe and the way he expresses mm -hmm. himself. It, yeah. it was incredibly helpful for me because we were able to sit in a pub for a couple of hours and talk through every seen in the film and about where Kate was emotionally and physically during that time, which could have been really awkward, but he's so open and generous. Um, and so in fact, what happened was he helped me through all of that. And then we cried a lot. And then <laughs> I had to go and, um, and a friend of his came up <laughs> to him afterwards and said, have you just broken up with her? <laughs> oh, that's Amelia Fox. <laughs> um, so it was mm. really, really, uh, it, it, it was a responsibility, of course, and everyone wanted to get it right for Singe and for the boys and for the family and Kate's family. Mm. Um, but it was ultimately, I think, um, a blessing. Yeah, I mean, he, he stayed for, he came for breakfast, he came at the end of the day, he went off and did his stuff during the day and let the filming happen. He kind of knew that, in effect, he just wants to let it happen, but he's there to, to meet Isn't the people and be boat, part of it. Though, it was his he boat, actually, he's, he's, he's hiding in the boat, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he, he drives a one wide shot of the pirate ship, he's, he's the pilot of the pirate yeah. ship, just in a wide shot. But uh, he was always around and always utterly supportive. It was fascinating watching Rafe watch Singe. Yes. And Rafe would just pick a few things up, pick a few mannerisms, yeah. pick a chuckle, yeah. or the way he giggles, the yeah. way he moves. Just pick up those things yeah. and kind of go, got it, got yeah. it for today, I've got it, I've got one in these. And then used it sometimes <clears throat> in improvising as well, which yeah. was, you Absolutely. know, because you've got it in the script as well, but then yeah. he would just throw just in... fine moments. Yeah. yeah. So what did you use to, to get those kind of sensibilities and nuances to the character? Because obviously you didn't have what, what Rafe did in that regard. Yes. Um, well, Singe, and the book, and Neil, and also all of Kate's friends and the community who live in Clevedon um, all collectively came together to be part of the film or to help with the film. Um, mm. uh, uh, mm. Someone who Kate knew um, helped me with the chemotherapy scenes and what happens. She actually introduced um, the whole notion of needing the loo, yes. of the flushing. Yes. That was, I mean, that was all on the day itself. Yeah. Suddenly it's like, let's get makeup, figure yeah, out how to yeah, do the flushing. Yeah. She plays the assistant chemotherapy nurse in it. Yes. And she'd been through herself through an experience of that. Yeah. There was that one scene, I mean, the, the monologue to camera mm -hmm. scene, which I think was the, probably the most powerful in, in the entire movie. I mean, I remember I spoke to Paul Greengrass, who directed Captain Phillips, and he spoke about that really great scene with Tom Hanks at the end and said there was this moment where they all just stopped and they, none of them really spoke. They couldn't even, he couldn't even shout like, cut. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you had a kind of similar experience with, with that particular moment. Absolutely did. It was, it was something that, that, actually it came about from when I was writing the scripts and I'd got to the moment where he says, how am I going to do this without you? And I wrote in the script, she writes the word kiss, just as it plays, and I stopped thinking, now what the hell do we do? What does the film do? And a head, the face popped into my head, just that face. And uh, from that moment on, I knew there would be a speech, we had to cut it down, it went from like 
what would have been eight minutes of film to about four minutes of film. We didn't know until the day where we were going to film it. Yeah. Did we remember? We were going yeah, to do it in a space. It yeah. It's going to be a space, but if it isn't a space like a theatre space, what is that space? And even the lighting that yeah. Eben had DP was saying, how do I light it? And I took you to that bay yeah. where we'd shot some earlier scenes and we just tried it out. And obviously yeah. there was a concern that the fresh air is going to dry the eyes, but actually it felt just right, yeah. didn't it? The quality of your voice in that air yeah. just felt right. It was a, it was a profound moment, actually. You were, you were, we were all standing the other side of a screen. Yeah. There was just Eben, our director of photography, camera operator, yeah. facing you. I gather there were a couple of people up on the hill, though, watching. I, know, <laughs> no, it, I didn't notice anything. <laughs> it just felt like a very still moment doing it. Yeah. And um, Witnessing you struggle, witnessing uh, Amelia struggle with the... with with your upset yeah. versus what you wanted to represent of Kate's upset. And I found that all the way through making the film because it was such an emotional process um, difficult because, of course, my emotions would sometimes get in the way. And particularly with that scene, I, you reminded me, I got quite cross with myself because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't my emotions, that it was Kate. But it was an incredible scene to sit oh, through. Thanks. So anyway, that's all the time I've got, unfortunately. Oh, well, thank, thank you, you very, very much. Yeah, thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Yeah, thank it really you. means a lot. Lovely to thank meet you. you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.